Hello everybody, it's Jess here with Let's Just. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to a daily vlog. Um, I haven't vlogged in a while. Things have been a little bit crazy and hectic, but I thought, why not? I miss you guys. I miss putting videos out every day. I don't know when I'll get back to everyday things. Like I said, things have taken me a little bit longer to get back in the swing of things than I thought after having a baby. Um, it's not even having the baby. It's just everything else that's gone on and continues to go on. So things have just been a little bit nuts. But I want to film because I honestly, I want to be there for you guys. I want to interact with you guys and all of that. Absolutely. But the main reason I started vlogging was to document memories. And I know I'm going to wish I had these newborn days documented because they're like a blur. They go by so fast. So that's what we're doing today. Come along with me. Typical day in the life. Stay at home mom. If any day it can be typical. <laughs> anyway. And I'm going to take you guys with us around today. Show you what we do. So today is Friday. And we got word last night that the kids are going to be out of school the next two weeks because of the coronavirus stuff. So I went to the store. We stocked up on some things. Formula, all that. You maybe have seen the video. Um, and not trying to panic, but just also trying to be prepared. It's honestly something we should be doing all the time. It's just having supplies at home because you can't depend on, um, you know, the fact that they will always be there because you just don't ever know. So anyway, not trying to panic, not trying to fear. We know we know where fear comes from, and it has no place here, but we do need to be prepared. So I've got, got that. David went to Kroger this morning and found toilet paper <laughs> because we are honestly out of toilet paper. This is the wrong time to be out of toilet paper. We had like two rolls, and I gave Lucy one of those rolls this morning in the bathroom. So I was like, oh, no, you know, it's like one roll left in, the, in our um laundry room where we keep them. So he went to Kroger and they were actually limiting people to like three packs or something. And so he got some toilet paper. So we should be good. Praise the Lord for that. I have enough like baby wipes and stuff we could have used, but those are expensive, but I'd rather use toilet paper. Anyways, anyways, this is our last day, which is me and Mark at home before everyone's going to be home with us for two weeks. Y'all, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. Uh, Nate does very well with routine. He does very well with being in school. He does not like being home. And we're going to be like home all the time because we can't really do anything. We can play outside and stuff, but we can't really take him anywhere, do anything fun. So it's going to be very interesting. I know like they're doing it out of safety for everybody and I appreciate that but um ever since I had the baby it's like the kids have been home more than they've been at school we've had weather closures we've had um Nate had the flu Lucy had strep like there's been little things they've been out for winter break was <laughs> during that so I just wish we could have like a normal stretch with them in school but it's not going to happen so we're just going to roll the punches and then like they go they're off for two weeks and then hopefully they're back on March 30th and then the next week after that is spring break so we're going to blink and this school year is going to be over anyway Mark did really well last night once we finally got him to sleep he didn't go to sleep till like after midnight but once we got him to sleep he woke up at three and again he woke up at six and then he went fed him back to sleep and he woke up at like 8 30 so he did really well he's in a swing right now I'm going to show you but it's like really loud because it's playing music so I'll show you when I get done talking to you He's just kind of hanging out in the swing. The morning is like his best time usually to where he's the most happy and I can actually set him down either on his play mat or on in a swing and he's happy. Towards the later end of the day, he wants to be held. So I try to get what I need to get done, you know, in the morning before he gets really awake. I need to get some stuff done since everybody's going to be home. Um, and then at the same time, I'm like, do I really want to do that? Because they're just going to destroy it. But... I'm still working on laundry. There's like little stuff out. I need to clean the bathrooms. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a fun, it's been a fun time. But anyway, we're gonna make the best of it. What was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else. I don't know. Like it was actually optional today whether the kids wanted to go to school or not. They didn't have to, but both of my kids love school. Lucy was even crying last night that she had out of school. So they definitely wanted to go. So I'm going to try to use this time wisely and not just like lay around, which is what I want to do. Because I have been up 
once he got up at six, actually no, six, nothing. It was five. Why am I saying six? No, it was, it was six. It was six. Nate was up at 530. That's where I'm getting. Nate was up at 530. Mark was up at six. So I've just been up since then. Um, but I need to just stay up and not lay down. He can sense when I lay down anyway, and then he is more cranky. <laughs> but anyway, I want to carry you guys with me today. I'll show you whatever we do um, in the middle of housework and feeding Mark every three hours. Um, I'm also pumping every two to three hours. So that takes up a lot of my day. That takes up a lot of my day. I mean, I would say at least four to six hours a day I'm sitting there pumping. I mean, that's broken up, but that's a long, that's a long time. It's very, very important to me to keep it up though, because he's getting a lot of benefits from it, but he is at the point where he is not nursing anymore. I cannot get him to nurse. And it's just becoming more frustrating to me and him to keep on and keep on trying. So I'm just going to pumping and then we're supplementing. Anyway, if you're curious, I feel like these openings of the vlogs, I just like word vomit everything out to you guys, but come along with us. I'll show you what we do today. I also need to get out dinner for tonight and I had... I had something that I was going to make and I forgot. I need to look at my list. I, where I planned out all the meals and then I forgot what they were. So <laughs> let's come over here. Let me show you baby Mark. So he's just swinging away, eating his blanket. Don't eat that. What's up, bud? What's up with you? He likes his music. Let's turn it off though so we can hear. So we can hear mommy and you talking. Guys, he's getting so big. He's five weeks old yesterday. And when we took him to the doctor, he was almost 10 pounds. So I'm sure he's a little bit over 10 pounds now. And he's just the sweetest little guy ever. He does have a temper though. <laughs> he gets mad. Whoops. When he gets mad, he gets real mad. But then most of the time he's happy. So he's going to hang out. We also have been putting him on this play mat and he loves it so much. So a lot of times I'll sit here and pump while he plays on the play mat. The hardest part about pumping is having like no hands, like very limited hands to be able to like take care of him. <laughs> and um, I don't have like a hand spray bra or anything. I know you can like take a sports bra and cut the holes, but I don't, I'm like, I don't have a sports bra. Like I'm too large chested for a sports bra. So anyway. Too much information, Mommy. Too much information. He hears me talking, so he's going to get mad. What do you want, bud? What do you want? Let me get him, and I'll check back in with you guys in a little while. It's 10 o'clock now. I'm going to pump as soon as I get him situated, and then hopefully clean the bathrooms, and he's not going to eat again until around noon. Hopefully, that's the plan. Never knew that it could feel this way when You lie next to someone You don't even need to play pretend cause You find the way you are I wanna know you better Give me every detail I won't judge you as you know Stay forever when you're lying in my arms. My heart is open, it just took some time. Now I just hope that you'd stay for a little while. You fix what's broken when you okay, make Okay, update. So the baby had tummy time and then fell asleep on his tummy. <laughs> I was sitting right here with him. And so, um, he started getting a little fussy. I picked him up and held him as I was pumping, which is not easy to do. He fell back asleep, so I laid him in his bed and I'm just watching him on the monitor. <laughs> he really likes sleeping in his room. So I don't know how long he's gonna nap. He's probably gonna need to eat in about an hour. I need to be doing things, but I'm sitting here watching The Office and eating chocolate. I've got the laundry <laughs> fluffing, so they make us sit here and watch The Office and fold. I love The Office and I've seen all the episodes like a hundred thousand times, but I'm listening to the office ladies podcast. And so I'm going back and watching them with them. So good. So, so good. If you love the office, you should be listening to the office ladies podcast. 
It's with Jenna Fisher and An Angela Kinsey, and um, it's so good. Anyway, <laughs> trying to sell what I want for lunch. I have quite a few things since I went grocery shopping last night and stocked up on everything. But right now I'm just eating chocolate Easter egg Cadbury eggs whatever they're called little mini those delicious Cadbury mini eggs <sighs> we just got a um, chicken salad chick that opened and I'm not usually a fan of chicken salad but I want to try theirs because they have all different flavors and I've never had it I really want to go get some but I'm not taking the baby out it's like rainy and yuck so <sighs> I'm dreaming about trying it <laughs> we will go there soon I'm sure we needed some more restaurants here I'm excited it's opening anyway that's the update I have and I'll see you guys back in a little bit hopefully the baby will take a little nap for me <sighs> it feels like the day goes by so fast between nap time feeding time pumping time all that it really makes the day fly so I'll check in with y'all soon so just stay for a little while So just stay for a little while I didn't think that I would find that someone Who's as honest as you are the way you make me feel at night when I am vulnerable and it's cold outside but you make it all right hey everybody okay so it is now almost five o'clock the kids got home from school and I'm going through a tunnel of clothes the kids got home from school we fed the baby I pumped again David's got him to sleep for a little nap I'm going to start dinner. I I, un, I unfroze, I thawed, a um, thing of chili, and I've got some hot dogs. So I think we're going to do chili dogs. Kids don't really like that, so I want to do like a something simple, like quesadilla. Lucy might need a frozen chicken patty or something. I'm working still on laundry. I've got clothes hung up everywhere in our laundry room. Um, kids came home with a huge packet of stuff they've got to do over this next two weeks. Y'all, y'all pray for me. I've got a newborn baby and now I'm like homeschooling children. Uh, it's gonna be interesting, but anyway, we'll get through it. Okay, I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna go back through the tunnel. So that's what we've been doing. Nate's playing back there. I saw it showed you guys, and I always leave these cabinets open. I don't know why. I don't notice it till I'm watching the videos. I'm just trying to do like a quick straighten and I did not get done as much as I wanted to get done today. It, uh, like most of my day while they're gone is just pumping and feeding the baby and take care of him, holding him, loving him. So I got like one load of laundry folded, but not put away. I didn't clean the bathrooms. My face is like so broken out. I guess it's like postpartum stuff. <sighs> my skin looks so good when I was pregnant. Now it's like red and none of my clothes fit I'm venting to y'all none of my clothes fit it's either maternity clothes or my regular clothes are way too tight because postpartum I haven't lost the weight yet <laughs> so anyway that's okay I'm probably going to buy some new clothes soon just some a few things to get through because yeah anyway Lucy said that there was only four kids at school in her class um, today was like an optional day. What? How do you spell woo? Oh, like whoop? Like a dog? No, it's a baby dog. W-O-O-F. Lucy's making a book of animal sounds. And from doing all the dishes, my skin is so dry and cracked and like painful. I keep putting like hand cream on. But, and I even got some gloves and it's not helping, but the like the water from all the bottles and everything I've been washing is killing me but anyway when we have dinner ready I will show you our plates I am getting pretty hungry breastfeeding is so hard because or pumping whatever making milk is so hard because it makes you so hungry 
and it never really helped me lose weight. <laughs> I feel like I lost more weight after I stopped breastfeeding than when I did when I was breastfeeding, but that's okay. It, it is what it is at this point. He is, this whole thing is way more important than that. So anyway, I'm actually going to put on some comfortable like pants because these are way too tight filling and I'm going to get comfortable. We're just hanging out here. We're not doing anything. So PJ's on, dinner yes. made, and I'll show you guys that when we get ready to eat, I'll show you. Hey Lucy, can you tell us what you're having for dinner tonight? Can you Toy tell everybody? Story. Toy Story smoothie. Apple. What flavor is it? Mixed berry. Apples. What else? Tortilla wraps. Tortilla. So she likes to use tortillas that just no, cut into circles. No, and then she puts pepperoni in there. And she wraps it up. Is it good? We're having a lazy night here, you guys. And some carrots. And for Nate, I made him this beautiful, yummy looking cheese quesadilla. It's super cheesy. And I've got some strawberries I'm cutting up. I'm heating us up some chili. I was going to do chili dogs, but I think I'm just going to do a bowl of chili or chili Fritos. I've got some Fritos. That way I don't have to cook up the hot dogs yet. So this is just defrosted, so it's just got to heat up. So that's what everybody's having for dinner. And update on this, I just made some coffee and had a cup. I really like this creamer. I do not like cinnamon coffee. Like I hate the cinnamon dolce at Starbucks. I just am not a cinnamon fan, but this is really good. It definitely reminds me of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think I like the Funfetti one more. That's my favorite right now, but I found this at Kroger and it's really, really good. So if you like cinnamon stuff, um, it's you will like this, but it's not too, too cinnamony and it's nice. So there's my update on that. So anyway, I, let me talk to you guys face to face. Um, the baby and David are napping and you want more tortillas? I'll cut you some more. Girl came home hungry. I just realized that Kroger is having their cheese sale today. Normally it's 99 cents, like when they do the sale, but right now it's like a dollar 29. So it's a little bit more expensive, but for eight ounces of cheese, it's a really good deal. So after I pump again and get everybody situated tonight, the baby gets settled again, then I may run to Kroger. I really don't want to, but night. $1.29 cheese and we're almost out of cheese. I didn't get any last night. Plus Lucy needs string cheese. The only problem is we hate Kroger string cheese. It's like wet and mushy. I'll have to buy the name brand if I buy it there, but I don't want to go back to Walmart. Walmart was crazy. Anyway, I want to show you guys what we're having for dinner. If I do go to Kroger, I'll show you what I get um, when I get home. If not, I'm trying to get a video edited for y'all. I've still got laundry I'm switching around. David's on baby duty and they're both just passed out. So <laughs> anyway, I'll check in with you guys later. Okay guys, it is the end of the night and I just got back from Kroger. I debated not going, but they were having some good sales and we did need the sales they were having, especially the cheese. They were having cheese, I tell you guys this. They are having the cheese sale and um, we were almost out. So I went. It was very, very picked over. Very picked over. David actually went, did I tell you guys? I can't remember what I told you when I had it. David went to Kroger today and found toilet paper, but tonight it was completely out. They did still have some cheese, but very little. And all the shelves were like <laughs> bare. But I did get some things, and I am not going back to the grocery store for a while. We are completely stocked up and stuff. We do not need anything else that I can think of. Knock on wood, everything like that. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys what I got. Um, so for the cheese, it was the shredded or the blocks. I just prefer the shredded because if I have a block, I procrastinate shredding it. <laughs> and it just sits in there. <laughs> so um, I got two of the pizza blend, two of the Colby Jack, and one of the quesadilla kind. Nate likes those. And then these peppers were so big and pretty. The red ones weren't so pretty though. I got two yellow and one orange. They were supposed to be 99 cents, but I was just looking at my receipt and I think they charged me $1.29 for them. Not worth going back and dealing with that. <laughs> so I did not go back for a refund, but they're really big peppers. And then I got myself this to drink on the way home and I totally forgot about it. So I will drink this when I pump before I go to bed and it's just a water it's a body armor water um so it's like nothing in it but water and like some electrolytes or whatever so I got that 
This was supposed to be $2.49 and then a dollar off, so $1.49. I don't think the coupon came off on this. So I don't know if I didn't load it right or what or if it just was a fluke. But again, not worth the dollar to take this back. So got these for Lucy. I thought they were $1.49. And then I also got these. Y'all, I should not go to <laughs> Kroger or Snacky. Um, but I just wanted like some snacky stuff, like breakfasty things. So these are some little donuts. Lucy is going to have breakfast for the next month. <laughs> and then this is another thing that the coupon did come off on this. So this was $1.49, but, or $2.49 with a dollar off, no, $2 with a $1 off coupon. So it was $1.99 for this Kool-Aid jammer. So I haven't bought them juice boxes in a while. With school being out, I thought it'd be nice to have some of these. So I just got one pack because you can only get one with a coupon. So the strawberry kiwi. Layla is completely out of pee pads. So we live in an apartment and she has to use pee pads because we can't, we can't constantly take her out. So she's very picky about the pee pads she will pee on. And the ones she likes are from Walmart and there's lavender scented. Like she's such a diva. But I don't want to go back to Walmart. She's literally on her last one. I am not going back to Walmart. Walmart. No, I found some. We're going to try these. Um, Walmart is a madhouse, honestly. So... I found these, and we're going to try them. They're the Kroger version. They're not lavender scented, but maybe she will use them. <laughs> we're going to try them before anybody else goes to Walmart, and if we have to, we have to, because we don't want her peeing on everything. And then I realized we were almost out of the kids' laundry detergent. I have just a few more loads left. I like to go ahead and buy the Big Mama. Uh, this is like 108 loads. It lasts for months and months and months. And it was the last one they had at Kroger. They had a few smaller ones, but I like to just get the big one. It ends up being, um, I like to buy this at Walmart. Usually it's like, I don't remember how much it is. This was like 15, but there was a $2 off coupon. So it worked out to be pretty good. So we have this. This is what I wash Nate and Lucy's clothes in. And then I thought this is a really good deal. This is the last thing I got. They have these deli pizzas. These are huge, like eight serving large deli pizzas and they were three fourteen each you could get up to five but I just got two because I know you can freeze them and stuff but we're honestly running out of room so I got a deluxe pepperoni and a six cheese um like a six Italian cheese cheese pizza so all of that was like $45 most of like half of that almost was the laundry detergent or a third of that was the laundry detergent so not too bad. And like I said, I am done at the store for a while. So we have already bathed the baby. Mark has gone from, we fed him at six. Then he fell asleep. And then about 7.45, I woke him up to give him a bath because he was, I was afraid <laughs> if I didn't, then he was going to sleep. And then we up in the night a lot. So I went and woke him up and gave him a bath. He fell back asleep. He just is waking up to drink a bottle. So he went from six to almost 10 with that's a long stretch for him four hours is a long stretch he has been so tired this today so I'm hoping that doesn't mean we're going to be up all night David's feeding him a bottle and we're hoping he'll just go back to sleep and we all can too I edited a video uh for you guys and I just need to do the thumbnail before I go to bed so that's my plan Everything is shutting down everywhere, so I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. My mom was saying that we might want to go to the library because it's probably going to shut down and we might want to stock up on some books. So we may do that. I don't know um, how, if they're even going to be open, but we're, we will see. I'm going to go put all this away. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. It's been a whirlwind. I feel like I did not get enough done, but we're going to be home. <laughs> For weeks so I'll have lots of chances I did get some laundry done I just not put away and I've straightened and I've washed dishes to the point where my hands are like cracked and dry and awful so I've been putting like hand cream on them like crazy but anyway I'm gonna go put this stuff away thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you have any ideas for upcoming videos I thought about doing a um like stay up with a baby night like where you, I'll pick up the camera when the baby wakes up through the night we'll see how the night goes together something like that if you're interested let me know if you want to see more vlogs or whatever just let me know because I want to do what you guys want if you like this video you know what to do give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below please subscribe if you're new we'll see you all later bye
Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play. Pre